Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Christian Schumacher, the head of Advanced Driver Automated Systems for Continental. And you are going to show us everything about the, a new concept. It's not a product yet, but it's a concept that Continental is producing. That is correct. What we try to showcase in this specific car is different approach to the so-called surround view. What we're showing here is we're focusing on two areas. One is uh, the integration of surround view with all the existing sensors in the car. Here we're referring to ultrasonic sensors or radar sensors as they're used for blind spot detection. And the other aspect, as you already can see, is we're looking at the specific HMI for surround view. So the ultrasonic sensors are where? The ultrasonic sensors are usually located in the front bumper and the rear bumper. They're used usually for parking assist. Right. You know, I don't know why they have the rear view camera mm -hmm. in the nav system. Mm -hmm. Because I will look at it and then I turn around. And, and that's exactly why we believe it's a better spot to do it here. Look at and that. we have the trajectory too, yes, for reverse driving and same for the cool front. How cool is driving. that? Yeah. But if you put the car now into, uh, for example, drive, as you can see now, what is happening is if there's a hazard somewhere in the area of the sensors, the image is immediately going to this area. It shows you immediately where the problem is. There you see, there's a car, you see the arrows is showcasing pretty much is showing you there's a car coming from the right side approaching you and instead of just beeping like it is in production with all the other systems, we're kind of focusing, we're giving you a visual picture of the area where the hazard is. Right. Christian, did you know that two children every week die because someone is backing up and they back over a child? And, and that's why we're focusing very much, uh, especially on the backup area to make sure that we find solutions that we can avoid that because we are very well aware of this, no question. By the way, it was kind of a nice effect. Again, you could see there somebody's walking by and immediately the picture is zooming into the area showing you there is an object, there's somebody walking. Right, that yeah. is so wonderful. Right. Then if you turn on your turn signal, please, to the left side, for example, then immediately you have a turn view. And as you can see here in the mirror, you see that it's switching to, and you turn the turn signal to a turn view to the left and the right, so pretty much you can look into the intersection and switching back then obviously when you turn off the turn signal. Interesting. The same we are doing in reverse. Um, it would be the same presentation now. Um, we can do it. It obviously might interfere with some cars coming from the back. So if you now turn on the turn signal, then you get exactly the same view in the back. You see that left and right. The only reason why it's now switching between the two modes is because we have objects driving by and always tries to warn us between the objects. But there you can see you can now look down left to the garage and to the right of this building. Wow, there's so much information. Christian, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that you had this interview.